Today we will show you how to set up a Windows 11 PC with a Microsoft account. If you have never owned a Windows 11 PC or are setting up the operating system for the very first time, you may not be used to Microsoft's new setup process. Don't worry though, today we will walk you through it step by step. First, when you start up your PC or your Windows 11 install for the first time, we will select the country or region the computer is being used in. Select the proper region or country, then click on Yes. Next, you will verify the correct keyboard layout slash input method and click on Yes. You can add a secondary keyboard layout by clicking on Add Layout, which you can do at a later time once the computer is set up as well. Otherwise, click on Skip. After this, we'll need to connect the computer to a network, which will vary slightly depending on which connection type you'd be using. Option 1. If you have an Ethernet cable connected to your PC from your modem or router, Windows should automatically detect your connection and you can click on Next. Option 2. If you're using Wi-Fi, then you will need to select your network from the list of options presented and enter the password for it. It is important to note if you're on a desktop and using Wi-Fi, if the computer is compatible out of the box for wireless, ensure the included antennas have been connected to the ports on the back of the PC for this. In our video example today, we will be connecting via Wi-Fi. So once you see your Wi-Fi network listed, click on Connect. Enter your network security key if prompted, and then click on Next. Once you are connected to Wi-Fi, it will show as such under your network name. Once this is done, click on Next once more. Now the computer will check for updates to verify it is on the latest available version of Windows 11. This step may take some time to complete. If necessary, your computer may automatically restart to apply the updates. Once restarted, we can continue the setup of the PC. Review the license agreement from Microsoft, and then click on Accept to continue. Here we can name the device. This will be the name that shows up on the login screen of your computer and will be the name of the user profile on this computer. Once entered, click on Next. The computer will restart again after naming the device automatically. Once restarted, select to set up the device for personal use or set up for work or school. Click the option that works best for you. Then, you will be able to click on Next to proceed. Next you'll need to log in or create a Microsoft account. If you already have an account with Microsoft, you enter your email or phone number registered with them directly. Then, you will be able to enter your password for your pre-existing account with Microsoft. If you do not have an account, click on No Account, Create One. In our example today, we will go through making a Microsoft account directly on the computer. On this screen, you will be able to enter an existing email address to register with Microsoft, such as a Gmail account, for example. Otherwise, we will go ahead and select Get a New Email Address to register a new address with Microsoft directly, which is what we will be doing today. Enter a username for your new email address and then click on Next. Then, enter a password for your new email and click on Next. Then, you'll need to fill in your details on the next couple of windows, as well as a way to reset your account via an alternate email or phone number. Your new Microsoft account information will then be verified and this may take up to a minute or so to complete. Now we will need to create a PIN for this computer to sign in. It is a four-digit number you can enter and confirm. The same PIN will go into both boxes here. Once entered, click on OK. Next, review the privacy settings for your device. You can click on Next if you'd like to use the default settings, or click on the slider bars next to each option to turn off any of the privacy settings described here. On the next screen, you can set up some customization for Windows 11 by checking the boxes that best describe what the device will be used for. If you are not interested in customizing this device, you may click on Skip to proceed with Windows 11 defaults. For the next few screens, you will be able to set up purchases for a few Microsoft products. You can review the information listed here for any possible purchases, or select Decline on each window to continue through setup. Once through the selection of Microsoft product offers, your computer will check for updates once again. And good news! This is the final step before getting into Windows. Any updates it needs to install before getting you into your Windows 11 can be completed now by clicking on Next. Finally, you will be brought to a screen that says Getting Things Ready For You. And then, this might take a few minutes. Just wait for Windows to finish setting up your PC from this point, and then you are good to go. It will automatically take you to the computer's desktop screen with your icons and start menu once completed. We hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe for other helpful tips and products from the best computer store in the world.